Hello viewers, greetings to all of you. Uh, today I bring you a different video. Today is not mechanics. It's about uh, repairing my 2008 MacBook Pro, a quite old machine that I have uh, decided to upgrade with an SSD, which is a very fast uh, hard drive since it has no mechanical parts. You will need uh, your SSD hard drive. I chose the uh, Samsung. 840 EVO hard drive because it's cheap and uh, well it's fast so cheap and fast is good and a pen drive to perform a fresh install of uh, Mac OS X Mavericks and of course you will need your MacBook Pro to perform this operation on the MacBook Pro you will need uh, a Torx screwdriver a Torx 8 a Torx 6 screwdriver and a set of precision screwdrivers. You'll find these in, at your local hardware shop. Now we will prepare a bootable USB flash drive with OS X Mavericks. It's very easy, just go to your disk utility. Uh, my system is in Portuguese, but it's the same. It's very easy. So I have my USB hard drive here. I have to go to the partition uh, tab, then select one partition. Select, for example, you can call it whatever you want. Just avoid spaces. Uh, um, I have some. I have had some trouble with spaces in the past. Select uh, Mac OS X uh, expanded with um, extended with uh, journaling. Then uh, click options. Select. Uh, UID the partition table in order to make it bootable then press apply confirm the partitioning and it is complete go to the Mac App Store and uh, download Mac OS X Mavericks And Mavericks uh, finishes downloading, uh, you will be presented with this uh, screen. Ignore this screen for now, just uh, minimize this, and then uh, there is a command according to this uh, tutorial, which I will be posting in the description. Uh, there is a, a command that you have to run in the terminal to uh, build your bootable USB flash drive. So start up the terminal, go to the spotlight and type terminal. Okay, and it will open this window. Now we have to uh, copy this command, but there will be some uh, changes that we have to make. So we paste. I paste this command, and then uh, I have to change the this part here that says volumes slash untitled. Whenever there is an untitled, you have to uh, insert the name. Of your bootable uh, flash drive. For example, we called it uh, bootable. So, I'll, so wherever there is a, a slash volume slash um, untitled, you change it to bootable or whatever the name you uh, gave your flash drive. Then type enter. You will have to type your password, your administration password for the Mac. Uh, while you type, nothing happens, nothing appears on the screen, that's just a safety measure. The password is really being input. So just press enter when you are ready. It's now erasing the disk, uh, my flash drive, and then we will copy the contents of the uh, Mac OS X uh, installation uh, app, the Mavericks, Mavericks installation app, to the flash drive. So let's just let it work until it uh, shows, us, shows us a done uh, state statement. After the flash drive has been created with the, the Mac OS X Mavericks uh, installer, uh, you will have a done statement at the end of the process. So this will tell you that the flash drive is ready to install the system. The flash drive has now changed to uh, install OS X Mavericks uh, name. OK, now let's get ready to perform the surgery on this 2008 MacBook Pro. 
The first thing you have to do is remove the battery. You just release this uh, holding um, locks and then remove the battery. Then there will be three bolts that you have to remove. Remove this one, this one and that one. After removing the three bolts, this cover will come out and it will reveal the RAM uh, memories. Remo remove the RAM sticks very carefully by uh, loosening these uh, uh, springs and then pulling them out. It is a good idea to keep your bolts ordered by the order by which you remove them. Now, there are two more bolts, one here and one here that you have to remove. Now remove the two bolts here. Now it's time to go around the casing and remove all the bolts. And after you remove all the bolts on the outer rim of the computer, just remove the four bolts in the underside of the chassis. After you remove all the bolts, go around the chassis of the computer and release it this way because there will be a ribbon underneath the keyboard that is stuck uh, more or less in this position. So you have to lift it like this. Then there will be a ribbon that you have to remove. First release the tape and then remove the ribbon carefully. And out it comes. Set it aside. Now there will be three bolts that you have to remove. Two torques, one here, one here, and then a uh, Phillips here. Very gently peel off the tape that holds this ribbon to the hard drive. Remove the holding bracket. Then very carefully pull out the hard drive. The hard drive is held also with two spigots on this side, so pull it toward this side and slide it like this. You will have to migrate the bolts on the hard drive, these ones, the four bolts that hold it, to the SSD. Insert it back where the old hard drive was, like this, insert it in the SATA connector and power connector, and then just reinsert the, the holding bracket here, this part here, um, to hold it in place. Since it's always good practice to test things out before reassembling everything, I have uh, installed the SSD and it is now booting from the flash drive. Let's see if this detects the SSD correctly. So, it has now finished booting. Let's see if uh, everything goes as expected. We select disk utility to have access to the list of uh, disks. And then we have success. Our hard drive, the SSD, is now successfully detected as Samsung SSD uh, 840 AVO. So, this is correct. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back together in reverse order. Uh, select the last option, uh, Disk Utility, press Continue. Then select Partition, select the SSD. Then select Partition, one, uh, one partition, you can call it Mac, for example. Uh, Mac OS X Extended. Select uh, UID as the partition type. OK, Apply and then uh, click Partition. Okay, close this up and you are ready to install. No need for me to explain that. That's it. Now it will work and a new uh, copy of the operating system will be ready soon. 
So after this uh, install, I can say that my computer is, uh, well, it's like a new computer. It's really, really fast, boots up almost uh, instantly in seconds. And um, I'm extremely happy with this upgrade. Believe me, you have to see it to believe it. If you have a, a mechanical hard drive, install an SSD, it will breathe new life into your old MacBook Pro and delay that much expensive upgrade. So, uh, as always, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel for any more mechanicals and uh, these uh, small fixes in my computers, in my cars and all this stuff. It will save you money. Till next time, take care.